Hornaday just didn't get a start that time, he Phil. Sure didn't. He's falling all the way back outside the top ten. Oh, and around goes Johnny Sauter. John King got in the back of him, and Sauter goes into the wall. He'll collect his teammate, Matt Crafton, as they come to the start-finish line. We will have another restart. They did not receive the white flag before Sauter got around and into the wall. Outside of Johnny. No, nah, he just got a hold of his back end from the wrong angle. Yeah and turned him sideways. Todd had rooted his way down to the bottom of the racetrack, and there's two Thor Sport trucks clobbering each other. The last thing a owner wants to see yeah. is his trucks running into each other. A lot of damage, a lot of parked trucks right at the exit of the trioval. NASCAR is going to red flag the race. Into the wall in turn three. It's Rick Crawford right there. Golly. And a the couple whole more front more. end off of that, number no, 14. A couple more trucks on the back. Tina side. Gordon. That's a bad in crash. 13. Yeah. So our first caution comes out at lap 45. You'll see Tina Gordon get sideways exiting the corner. Does a nice job of not spinning out, but just can't ever control the truck, Phil. Never can catch up to it. Now she's now she's got the brakes locked up to try to stop that truck, but she stops in the middle of the racetrack. Here comes Rick Crawford right behind Dennis Setch on the 46 truck. Could not see her, never saw her. Clipped her, turned her in front of Hank Parker Jr., who made severe contact on the inside, and it kind of slid down to the inside wall. Four have separated themselves. Sparks coming out of the nine, up the racetrack he goes. Contact is made. Jake Crum into the back of the nine. Caution comes out again. Mm. Right front tire down on the nine. That looked a whole lot like Window we saw it down in the, the Sprint Cup Series at Bristol when a tire was blown and Kyle, or excuse me, Matt. Riggs tire, Scott Riggs seems to be as fast as anybody on the racetrack. Riggs is in that 86 RC Cola Dodge. Crash on the back stretch, pretty we good. Got, oh my, Ryan McGlynn has tagged the inside barriers on the back stretch, bringing out our fourth caution. You can see him moving around inside that truck, so that's uh, that's the good news, but he did do very, very heavy damage to the uh, back end of that truck. He's probably done for the day. And he got completely upside down, a little bit might have been some contact there as Andy Houston might have touched him just a little bit. But he's going backwards and he gets oh. into those tires and boy, that's a sudden stop. And look at those those tires. I don't know how much they weigh, but they're Caution is taking place. There's Mike Skinner. Just as Ray mentioned, he thought he had a soft tire. Bounced into the outside wall and came off the wall and made hard contact with the 20 of Marcus Ambrose. They came along with absolutely nowhere to go. Marcus made some contact with Kyle Krisloff in the 15. Just a horrible break. It looked like Mike Skinner. He knew he had a soft tire. There it is. It went down right there. And when he bounced off the wall, look at the damage to the 20 and to the 15. Thank goodness for softer barriers because he hit that wall hard coming out of turn four. Well, he sure did. Brendan's losing his nose coming up on the track. And behind him with a 13 of Todd Bodine gets into the wall. And hard contact from the 99. All right, we're done, guys. We're done. You all right, Todd? Another truck involved behind them. Yeah, I'm all right. A lot of debris. Here's oh. Newberry. He gets into the 13. Into the wall he goes. He got loose on the inside. There comes the 99. Watch his trialist. Bam, up in the air when he hits that outside wall. All four tires up off the racetrack. Way up the racetrack goes the 32. Catches the 6 and around goes Justin Lofton. Hits the 13 of Johnny Sauter. They crash right at the start finish line. And they catch the 32 of Miguel Faludo. Wow. That was You're a right huge much. crash. Yeah. And that was a long time yeah, in developing, right. too. The six of Justin Lofton got sideways way, way early at the exit of four. Just about saved that thing. Look at James Butcher just barely slipping by. Johnny Sauter not so fortunate. And watch Miguel Pluto. He's watching what's going on. Going to make a move here to the inside. But then they had one coming up from the bottom as well. Just barely gets hit, though. Not a lot of damage. Good job by Pluto not getting involved in the crash that he was a part of. Making a move for the fourth spot in that 21 oh, truck. Sideways. Oh. Tomley and Nemechek get together, and the caution is out. More oh, contact. Coming up. Crash on the top, crash on the middle. Big hit for Parker Kligerman. Yeah, he, John West Tomley, who was trying to save his truck, made contact with Parker Kligerman, turned him straight into that outside. Johnny Sauter took advantage of it by getting down underneath him, but then... John Hunter just couldn't hold on to it. Yeah, got loose and hit the... Look how close it was to Townley having his straightened out, but there was nowhere for Clickerman to go. What a hard hit that was. If Parker hadn't have come along there, John West would have been able to straighten that truck out, but what a tough break for both John West and... Lee Sutton having some problems. Getting spun around, excuse me, not upside down, spun around. 
She was definitely upside down. You can see the damage to the roof of that, of of that truck upside down. Let's see if we can take another look at it. Watch the four truck. Kelly Sutton's going to come along and clip her. She was out of out of control a little bit coming in there. You could see that she was just trying to recorrect when right. she got into that four. Yeah, she was sideways. She had lost control coming in. And you can see the radiator leaking there, but you're right. It flipped back over when it hit the apron. And Flies is the one that will determine the winner of this race. Can't believe they made it through turn two. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That four trucks, now they're wrecking. And now they're going to wreck behind them. Truck sliding all over. Will nope. the caution come out, though? No caution yet. No caution. They're still. And the caution comes out. Now the caution comes out. In front of the field is. Pol Tell exactly what uh, the first truck to get out of line here. You see Miguel Paluto and Jason White make contact. And then it Lofted. forces Jason over into loft, and he makes pretty hard contact against the inside wall. Crafton with a lot of damage. There's Rick Crawford sliding across the racetrack, making contact with the 81 of David Starr. There's that Clay Greenfield, Clay in, the Greenfield in the 68 caught up in it. As they spin, it is going to be Todd Bodine going across the start finish line, winning in 2006. They crashed behind them. Oh, look at this. They're still crashing, Rick. I mean, even off four still. They were slowing down. Truck stopped on the front stretch. What took place at the end of this race? You can see Eric Almaroli here. He's down on the inside of John Wood, and he just loses his truck. What a great run he was having. But he spins out, and watch what happens. Jack Sprague on new tires is charging, and he just got hung in the side and right into the wall. He goes, and, and they just keep wrecking, Phil. Yeah, there's a 08 Bobby Hamilton Jr. He gets, there's Ron Hornaday, bottom of your screen, got turned around by Rick Crawford. Here comes the 59 of Steve Park. He makes contact. The case right now, still four remaining, but Bodine trying to make his move to the outside, and we have trouble on the back straightaway. Problems for the 14 and the 5. Now they all bottle up behind them. The 16's into the wall. For today, your championship leader is into the wall. A lot of damage on the back stretch. Oh, and Max Pappas gets into the 5 of Mike Skinner as they're slowing down the back stretch. Take another look. This is real time. That, that's just, I mean, it's really difficult to assess exactly who to blame that on. I mean, Skinner was trying to pull over a little bit. Johnny was in there a little bit. They got together, and it caused a big crash. Look at Tom Bodine right out against the wall. Tom Bodine moved up. He made it into the top ten. He's running three wide. Oh, there they go. There they go. Mike Wallace in the wall. Right. And Jerry Cole gets almost upside down into the wall. The caution is going to come out. The checkered is going to fly. Mark Martin out in front of the field as they come out of turn number four. And Mark Martin will win at Talladega. Up into Johnny. Look at these. They're, they're five wide right now. But but the, the wreck didn't happen because of that. That was Todd Bodine yeah. who got into the 40. Todd Bodine got into the 40 of Derek Cope. Just as the five of Mike Skinner got into the 15 of Mike Wallace. I who? think Todd Bodine was four. I think Todd Bodine finished fourth in this race.